What's up guys, it's me Vlad and today is a very sad day because today officially Gorilla Attack Quest mods are dead. You cannot install Gorilla Tag Quest mods in any way, shape or form anymore natively on your quest. And you know what I'm saying to me, uh, this is really, really sad because if you guys didn't previously know, a lot of the popular videos on my channel were about actually quest mods. And I'm going to explain to you guys why it is that way today, like how it's possibly going to, you know what I'm saying, if there is going to be an update, uh, there is still a possibility that that will get fixed and you guys are going to be able to actually install mods on your quest. But as of right now on quest 2, quest 1 and quest 3 you cannot install mods. You know what I'm saying? To me it's a really sad news because at first, you know what I'm saying, Gorilla Tag themselves has actually limited the support for mods like quite a while ago, like well, especially on quest. On PC you still can get mods as you guys can see I'm using mods using virtual desktop. But Interestingly enough, for these mods, you have to pay 20 bucks, which I think is actually really, really, you know what I'm saying, kind of like scammy for Grill Attack to do, because uh, literally they don't support the mod creators whatsoever, you know what I'm saying, they don't pay them, they don't do anything uh, with the mod creators, in fact, the mods were very, very, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, frequently actually break on PC uh, and uh, that is because if you guys there and previously know uh, Gorilla Tag you know what I'm saying uh, doesn't uh, actually have like full support for the actual mods like if you guys didn't previously know <laughs> Gorilla Tag, um, like, uh, there's an interesting program fairly recently that was announced uh, for the actual new finger painters, illustrators. Interestingly enough, you know what I'm saying, Jim and Curly and K9 didn't make to that program, which kind of received some hate. Uh, but also, that program gives the actual uh, new, uh, pretty much Gorilla Tag uh, approved content creators, um, our early updates and stuff like that, which I think shouldn't been the case to actually mod creators because mod creators are literally people who keep the game alive without the, the actual need of Girl Attack new updates. And every time Girl Attack new updates release, all of the mods break and you cannot actually play the game without that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's not the point though. That's not the point though because the point is that officially quest mods are broken. And let me actually showcase to y'all uh, why that is. So if if you guys actually have a quest uh, 2 or quest 3, uh, many of y'all might know that uh, usually, you know what I'm saying, to install mods, what you do is uh, previously you would have been able to actually install on the new version of the quest, uh, Gorilla Tag, but uh, since Gorilla Tag limited the actual mod compatibility, I personally think they should actually add it as a separate game mode, personally, uh, but uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, they still didn't do that, uh, so you have to download an older version of Gorilla Tag. So you download the older version of Gorilla Tag, and after that, what you have to do is actually put in some uh, folders using file managers, and that is the actual problem. Because I actually tried this quite a while ago, like a couple, like a week ago or so, not actually that a while ago. Uh, but right now, due to an update on your quest, if you actually try to, you know, what I'm saying you can uh, upload the two folders that you need first, which are for mods, mod data, and um, it was uh, the other one quest patcher but if you try to go to android and put in the last folder which is the most essential one with pretty much all of the mods you have to go to data over here uh, and uh, pretty much if you go here you have to actually input it uh, over here this actual folder is limited so if you for example use uh, it depends on the file manager, for example, with a maze, uh, I can just view it, but you cannot actually interact with it. Like if you go to main storage, Android data over here, it asks you for permission settings. So if you hit OK, you cannot actually just add, uh, you know what I'm saying, like 
permissions to this folder. So if you try to, it says to protect your privacy, choose another folder. So it's impossible to literally add any files to this folder, which is pretty much the folder that you need for mods on your quest. So essentially quest mods are dead. You know what I'm saying? You cannot install them on the current version of Gorilla Tag. And uh, pretty much this is due to, I believe, limitations of the new quest update. And I believe uh, it's not actually quest's fault. I mean, uh, this folder was here for a while, but this is a, an actual limitation due to Android. So I actually did some research on this. So pretty much Android in Android 15, I believe, has limited the folders that you can access. So you cannot actually access the core folders such as the data one, which is like very unfortunate because most of the mods actually go into that folder, even for different games such as like Blade and Sorcery and stuff like that. And now Gorilla Tag, which sadly Sadly, you cannot mod anymore. You know what I'm saying? Personally, I think that's a huge L. You know what I'm saying? I think Girl Attack uh, should actually implement some kind of like official modding thing because it's quite interesting that like there is no set of rules as far as mods go. Like there are some rules for legal mods, but those mods were created by just random people on Discord. You know what I'm saying? It's not like official, official. Uh, and and, uh, you know, what I'm saying those actual mods are quite weird, too, because, like, you have to be in an actual modded lobby for that. And that modded lobby is essentially a just a mod for Gorilla Tag. So, and that breaks, like, every single update. Like, Utila, which is the mod that gives you modded lobbies and Gorilla Tag, breaks every single update. So, you cannot even play with, like, mods for quite some time, oftentimes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, you know what I'm saying it's just a whole mess and it's quite sad to see because you know what I'm saying grill attack grew a lot in popularity due to mods like literally the whole community of ghosts and stuff like that uh, if you're not counting in the fake ones and stuff like that that like a bunch of youtubers just clickbait about you know what I'm saying y'all can notice like right now brain there are like 25 videos oh my god brain I met uh, some ghost you know what I'm saying like Benchy at 3 a.m. You click on that video and it's freaking like, you know, those fake Roblox videos for like three year olds on uh, like uh, just with like a bunch of script and stuff like that, like completely fake. Uh, you know what I'm saying? 40 minutes or so they get all of the ad revenue and stuff like that, which I think, nah, that's chill. That's chill personally to me, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, people are grinding their own thing. Uh, but uh, for me, you know what I'm saying, uh, that just uh, proves that, you know what I'm saying, Gorilla Attack should have some kind of mod support. Because, like, the mod support that we currently have, I mean, is locked behind 20 freaking dollar paywall. And that's obviously because Gorilla Attack has said that, like, you know what I'm saying, on PC, you know what I'm saying, there were a lot of cheaters. But, you know what I'm saying, if Gorilla Attack really wanted to, they could just implement a better anti-cheat you know what i'm saying gorilla tag is not broke man many people don't notice but you can literally find that gorilla tag in 13 months that it actually was up on the freaking uh what is it called um app lab not even the main quest store it's been three years since then but in 13 months it received 26 million dollars in revenue which is crazy like by this point it's probably near like a hundred million dollars right because it's been like three times that man and growth tag grew a lot in popularity since then so you know what i'm saying it's kind of crazy that we still don't have like a better anti-cheat in here man i mean there are a lot of uh, developers working on growth tag but you know what i'm saying like i see a lot of even indie games brand having like more content and updates uh, than gorilla tag besides like paid cosmetics which i think personally to me genuinely like paid cosmetics brand like i feel like gorilla tag is just bilking them like i've seen a lot of people defending gorilla tag oh man you know what i'm saying paid cosmetics that's so they can actually pay the developers but but man you don't need 26 million dollars in 13 months to pay 50 developers but like literally i counted like if you pay each developer 100 grand which is like actually like not realistic of how much they are getting paid probably uh i mean you would spend like three million dollars on that brand right? like uh like two million something like that brand right? like near three million right and there is literally like 23 million dollars more 
for that, bro. So, man, come on. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? There, at this point, it's just milking, bro. I wish, I wish, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got some official mod support. And I hope Grilltag improves on their actual, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, mod support. So, they give the early uh, access to new updates to actually mod developers. Like, official mod developers. Uh, because, literally, like, bro, it's so sad to see that, like, creators who are actually making videos... Uh, get new updates early and only specific creators the illustrators, you know what I'm saying which will hurt the smaller creators on the YouTube side because like new creators uh, Who are finger painters if you don't know finger painters is a program that growth that gives to some YouTubers You know what I'm saying it doesn't even give it to like most youtubers uh, uh, And with tier 2 you can actually get early updates now apparently uh, And uh, there's only like six people that are in that program and those six people People are going to receive like uh, new like early updates and stuff like that uh, which yeah as I said hurt smaller youtubers and I wish they would just give those updates uh, early to mod developers as well so we can finally have mods which won't break and you know what they should actually hire those people right girl tank has so much money it's actually insane right they should have hired the, the util a mod developer a while ago implemented official mod support and just someone like uh, girl tag would have been in a pretty great state bro i feel like if they did that uh plus you know what i'm saying hired some people to do the anti-cheat properly but uh you know what i'm saying at this point bro, there's not much you can really talk about because you know what i'm saying like Bro, a lot of creators are really scared to talk about a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I try to keep you with you guys really genuine, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of sad to see that quest mods are dead. Once again, it's not really grill tax fault for quest mods, you know what I'm saying? It's a more of a just uh quest update limitations and stuff like that although you know what i'm saying i've seen i don't even know how i came to access the actual folder through a maze maybe there is a way to actually access it before i wasn't able to actually access it in any way shape or form you know what i'm saying before so maybe maybe there's a chance maybe there's a chance we're going to be able to actually access it so you go android data yeah, through this I can actually access. Wait, that's kind of crazy. I'll need to. I'll need to see. I'll need to research more on that. But you know, what I'm saying through CX File Explorer, you weren't able to. And I tried last week. I wasn't able to. So you know, what I'm saying Grow Tag Quest mods are kind of fully dead right now. You cannot install mods. You cannot do anything, man. And it's kind of to see. Has sad to see because there was such a big community in actual modding and still is. Uh, in girl attack um, but uh yeah boys that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about kind of like just a little commentary thing here and there man you know what i'm saying we kind of scattered from one topic to another man uh so you know what i'm saying um yeah but uh yeah shout out to Grotech developers though you know what i'm saying they keep in the game uh with updates and stuff like that which you know what i'm saying I appreciate that. I appreciate that, but just want more mod support for the actual game. You know what I'm saying? And uh, not charging freaking 20 bucks on Steam for the game, man, which is kind of crazy to me still. Uh, but uh, whatever. Whatever, boys. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching this beautiful piece of content, man. See you guys later. Peace out. I'm out. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, see you later. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you miss quest mods? If there are going to be any news on quest mods, you know what I'm saying? Drop a like on this video. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. I'm going to record the video as soon as possible. I'll look into the Amaze file folder, you know what I'm saying? Because apparently, there, yeah, there's a new update to it. So maybe there's still a chance. There's still a chance, you know what I'm saying? Mods are going to work. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Uh, but yeah, boys, thank you for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye bye. I'm out.